Hello, hi, you guys. I'm Ash. Today we're playing Kitty, also known as Ben. Hi, guys, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Looney Tunes for the Game Boy Color. Yay! This is yet another one of my childhood games, which I played on the Game Boy. But um, whenever I can, I'd like to, you know, play the colored version of the games that I played. And well, as the screen said a long time ago already, we're starting with Tuffy Duck and this is Yosemite Sam and or was rather. Yay. Alright. Oh man, I don't like that you have to kill crows in this game. <laughs> They're my favorites. And anyway, yeah look, I got punished there. So this is a well a platformer and what you have to do other than the ride big Birds that don't exist like that, and killing Marvin the Martian here with his hyperness, and killing huge crocs, and yeah, I'm not even gonna comment on that right now. Is well, you collect diamonds for points. Uh, this is basically like a star in Mario, so invincibility. And you're supposed to just go through that's a heart, you can tell, and you're supposed to go through the stage. Um, until the end of the stage, and after every stage you play with somebody else. Here there's a little secret, however, it takes a bit to get out of this so I might cut. Ha! We finally made it after about 30 or 40 seconds. This is an upgraded version of the first bee that I had. It's really really good. I remember finding that as a kid and being all happy about it because you can spam it as opposed to having to wait until your first bee comes back, which is Obnoxious. So yeah. Alright, let's go here. There's a lot of mini bosses, I guess, in this game. In most stages, not all of them. They're a little bit different. This game offers a lot of variety, by the way. It's this I'm gonna call this underwater Yosemite tab or something. Underwater Yosemite. Ooh, this is always a hard one. Uh nope, I can get it without getting harmed. Usually I'm more pro than that. Gosh darn it. Anyway, these you want to watch out because they start launching themselves at some point. And, yep, we're good. You also want to watch out with jumping on those because if there are spike, there are spikes on top of you, yeah, you're kind of screwed. I hope I'm not going to die because I'm on my last heart there. I'm just going to have to be very cautious. Luckily, I have the upgraded frisbee. So, yay. Alright. I'm just going to spam it because I don't want to die. See, like that, you know? Yeah, I know, I didn't have to duck, but... No, duck. <laughs> oh god, no, 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 no. You don't want to get into these currents, because... It's dragging you down, if you can tell. Well, you can't, because you're not playing, but... I can. Take my word for it. <laughs> so, I think you could also jump on these, but I'm not gonna try that right now. My last heart. Nah, bruh. No, thanks. Oh god, are we done here with those things? What are those frogs? Fish frog thingies? I don't know. I haven't seen fish that just kind of go to the ceiling and then flip. I don't know. Then again, I haven't been on the water in a lot. Alright, this is the end boss. The stage here, anyway. Uh, some sort of mechanical fish? I'm not sure. Also, those little fishies, they're kind of gonna try to attack you, so you might want to take them out. And I'm doing a horrible job at it. But, he's almost dead. Maybe I can beat him. Maybe I can beat him. Nope! The homing fish killed me first. Well, here's the good thing. It lets you restart from, you know, the boss. Which is a good thing. I'm. That's too bad. I didn't want to die, though. Gosh darn it. I wanted to be more pro than that. And again, I didn't play this game either, since... Yeah, way back. That seems to be a topic with me, huh? But, as a reward, we get the golden treasure chest. Makes sense for Duffy, huh? Yeah. It does. Okay. Ah, this is the difference between uh, the Game Boy Color version and the Game Boy version. You don't have these bonus stages in the Game Boy version. There's only one type of bonus stage. I'm probably gonna get around to show you, I don't know yet, from time and whatnot. But these basically don't exist. That's what you need to know. And, well, the color obviously doesn't exist either in the game version, but... Because it's that nice, calming, eye-suiting, green-ish 
black. Yeah. So hey, you're gonna see me trying these as f for the first time, and the second stage is Tweety, and you can fly! Yay! Take a wild guess with the yeah, there he is. There we have Egghead Jr. Hi, and Sylvester. You can usually just lure him into the pits, which is very violent, I know, but he crawls back out again at you. But I have fun personally to direct him exactly into the friggin' holes like that. I am having fun. I am evil. I'm gonna go to hell. Oh well. There's also Sylvester Jr. there. Nice. I think if you actually um, stand in front of him, uh, he's gonna like, I don't want to say teleport you or kick you, but kind of kick you up on his head. So the only thing that um, Sylvester Jr. does is he actually tries to um, slow you down. If you get in the hands of Sylvester, like Senior, you lose a heart. So I'm not gonna show any of these. If Egghead hits you... The balls to slow you down, the pots, I'm not sure if they take it hard away. Again, I don't want to go try it. <laughs> if you want to find out, go try it by yourself. Hmm? Because I don't want to, I don't remember. So. Alright, man, everything is out to get me. Wah. You need to watch out a little bit. When he throws, okay, I mean, when he throws the baseballs, you might get knocked back into a hole, and you don't want that. Oh god. So, yeah. Man, I am glad I can dispose of Sylvester that easily. <laughs> I sometimes used to, yeah, I sometimes used to, like, sit down like that, and Sylvester would, oh god, there you go, would sneak up on me, but I didn't want to show right now. And, well, the stage is short and easy, or simple anyways. I used to have so many troubles as a kid with this. Let's see the bonus stage for this. I'm curious. Oh god. Uh, okay. I was I too late, or is this just one of those where it's pure luck? I guess you just have a bunch of tries. Three, maybe. Maybe, yeah, probably because of those three X's down there. Yep, seems the case. All right, Porky Pig. See, no stage is really like the other. Not really. I mean, the others are. Uh, they're gonna kind of be like similar but right now there's a lot of variety which I like personally this is one of the nice 2d sight shooters I guess so what you do here is basically shoot everything pretty much I do remember that the Sun in the background would go down slowly as you progress in the stage and I always found that really cool um these are kind of like bombs so you just have to hit them a bunch of times or they're gonna explode, as you see right there. All right. The cool thing about Porky, uh, Porky stage here is that if you die, so if you use up all your three hearts, you can still keep going, kind of like credits or continues, whatever. Um, see the sun, what it, what it's doing. See that? There you go. So that's the cool thing about this. I usually, it's I think. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think you're almost guaranteed to lose um, lives here in this stage because the end boss is kind of yeah, she's part of it basically. Hazel, I'm not sure if she actually is Hazel, but the witch was always called Hazel, and she looks a lot like her, at least with the big nose and everything. I know Hazel was sometimes having like a bluish face, so. But I don't know, I'm just gonna call her Hazel. And as we see, the sun keeps going down, it's pretty cool. Oh god. For the most part, you just wanna dodge this. And just shoot at her. You can pretty much uh, keep the um, shooting button pressed. You don't have to like constantly press it. That would suck anyway. You can just hold it down. Alright, second phase basically. Or actual real time boss. Real boss, whatever. Um, you're just supposed to shoot at him, the star. The The first hand is not aiming for you, the second one that actually looks like a hand is, is aiming. So, you, yeah, you need to destroy it before you die. See, this is exactly my, my, um, proof that when you die, you can keep going. Um, 
again, try to destroy that hand as soon as you can. Try to aim for it. This, you can just kind of ignore it. But the hand, try to aim for it because it's it's coming for you, it's homing. So, you want to try to avoid that. So you can die as, um, as little as possible. There you go. I can't talk anymore today, I don't know. Anyway, so we're almost down with this dude. I don't know who he is. I don't think he ever showed up in the, um, not in the game, in the show. There you go. Then again, I didn't watch, like, every freaking episode ever. I just watched whenever it was on, I guess. So, yeah, that's that. What's his reward? I don't even know. Porky doesn't get a reward. <laughs> Apparently. Alright, let's see his bonus stage. Oh, gosh. I don't know how this works. Oh god! Oh god! No, 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 no! Well, I failed. First time playing. Yay! Stage 4! Taz! Or the Tasmanian Devil. This is usually what was the bonus stage in um, the Game Boy version, actually. You would just go through all these blocks collecting the meat with Taz, uh, with the timer on top there. And that's it. There wasn't any of those other bonus stages in the Game Boy version. So I'm kind of glad I'm playing the um, gold version. No, I almost said gold version. The, the colored one, because I can tell you about the difference, anyways. I'm actually curious to see if there's going to be a bonus stage after this. That would be weird, seeing that this is technically the original bonus stage. Huh. Now, anyway, you want to collect as much meat as you can. This is weird, honestly. This is... They should have kept this the bonus stage because it has a timer as opposed to all the other um, levels that are have a way bigger objective than just here. Dig through a bunch of rocks and collect meat. Seriously, I don't know. Um, it's weird. I don't know what to say. All right, timer or not? Let's figure out if we're gonna have a bonus stage. Do, 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 do. He's getting no reward either. Well, I guess the meat is rewarded. <laughs> Oh god, so many points, man. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, there's this bonus stage. Let's see. Can we see it? Booties? Booties? Mm. Oh, there you go. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna sign out. Meanwhile, this seems pretty short and simple. So, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.